So there's a new Ted Cruz ad attacking Beta O'Rourke, and the issue they decided to pounce on is gloriously pathetic. Beto O'Rourke wants to be a senator. That. So he's showing up across Texas, sharing his wit. How f***ed up is that? His wisdom. <laughs> what the f*** are these guys doing? And his character. I really f***ed up. If Beto shows up in your town, maybe keep the kids at home. Because this is f***ed up. Beto O'Rourke, he's showing the f*** up. Ted Cruz seriously may be the worst politician ever. I mean, Hillary Clinton is bad. She's real bad. But Ted Cruz might be worse. I mean, it. are you trying to lose? Because that's what it looks like. Dude, you're in Texas, and you're a Republican. And there's a pretty good chance you lose this race, even with your tremendous name recognition. Because... You're flailing in the wind. You're flailing Ted Cruz. Me, I'm Ted Cruz. Me. Aren't I so likable? Me. You're attacking him for cursing? Well, first of all, elephant in the room. Um, dude, you've been cucked by Donald Trump. I mean, you now are a servile puppy dog to Donald Trump. Donald Trump is a well-known user of foul language, if you will. In fact, it was the Republic the Republicans ran an ad against him back during the uh, Republican primary where they just it was basically just a reel of him cursing. And they used like, "Oh, what about the children?" And it turns out people said, "Fuck the children. We're adults, bitch. I don't mind the cursing. That's fine." So, that strategy is already has already proven not to work and you're a massive hypocrite because you support Trump and he curses like a sailor as you go after Beto for cursing. So it's just, that's silly, but also, it makes Beto look like a guy who keeps it real. Because, Ted, in today's new political atmosphere, it's not the same as it used to be, man. It's not 1975, it's not 1985, it's not 1995. There was a time in American history where people wanted the more measured, politician-like characters who seem like, oh... I'm very careful about every word I use and every body movement I make, and I'm very pointed in my speech, and I sound very fake. But people like fake, because fake seems like it's in control. Well, now, when people see that, they think, why is that motherfucker not keeping it real? Are they plotting against me? If you're willing to be this fake in your public persona, well, then how fake are you going to be when it comes to crafting, you know policies for the country. I don't think you're going to work in my interest, because you look like you're hiding a lot of shit in front of me right now in plain sight just by the way you're speaking. So it's not, it's not the old days, man. If anything, the new days, people want the opposite. They want a Bernie Sanders-like politician. They want a guy like Trump. Now, to be clear, Trump, he's not really a truth teller. He just seems like kind of unhinged, so it gives him that truthy feel, even though none of the, virtually none of the shit he says is true. But they want a guy like Bernie Sanders or Trump or rough around the edges, says whatever, because there's a rawness there that's like, oh, okay, I feel more like he's just a regular person, so maybe he's not hiding shit. That's the sense people get from it. But Ted Cruz is still playing that old political game as if it's like, you know, as if Ronald Reagan is president and we're in the 1980s. It's not the case anymore. You're going to go after him for cursing? That's, I think that's going to make him more popular. I think that'll make Beto more popular. Because what's the typical stereotype that people like Ted Cruz push about the left? Like, oh, snowflake, safe space, microaggression, political correct bitches, get over it. Well, okay, looks like Beto's over it because he's out there dropping F-bombs and shit. So you're not, you're not helping yourself. And I'm telling you, one, wor one ad after... The other is worse than the next. Okay, that was phrased a little weird. <laughs> Each ad is worse than the next. Am I saying that right? Each ad is worse than the... No, each ad... Each new ad is worse than the previous ad. I'm having trouble talking, and that's not good, because I'm supposed to talk for a living. Um, whatever. Anyway. He did another ad that was about standing for the anthem. What Beto said was pretty good when he argued like 
I think it's the most American thing you could do because he's peacefully protesting for something he strongly believes in. And we should support that. Even if you don't agree with him on the issue, you should support that. So, Ted Cruz is trying to distract with the culture war, but Beto O'Rourke has good responses to whatever Ted Cruz is going to bring up on the culture war. And then furthermore, whenever you get to the actual realm of economics and the populist stuff, Beto's going to kick Ted Cruz's ass because Ted Cruz is a puppet to Wall Street. He's a puppet to billionaires. He's doing their bidding across the board. He's cutting corporate taxes. He's, um, you know, giving uh, corporate welfare checks and subsidies to the rich. I mean, so why would you do that ad? Oh, stand for the anthem. It's so important because it, it comes across as fake when Ted Cruz does this stuff. Because you know he's just kind of looking at that to have like a political angle. He did an ad not that long ago. It was a radio ad, and it's guys singing about how uh, you can't be a liberal man in Texas. And it's this goofy fucking country song singing about how Beto's are like a wussy liberal man. And that's, I don't, I honestly think that shit is going to backfire because it's condescending to the people of Texas. I'm not saying there aren't some people in the Republican base who might eat that stuff up. But that number's shrinking, man. You actually have to appeal to, to human beings and their lives and trying to improve it in order to win. And even though we're talking about Texas, I think that Beto O'Rourke can really knock off Ted Cruz because I think he's uniquely bad as a politician. I really do. I really do. And on top of all of this, he's just unlikable. Like, there's just something about him that seems to rub, like, everybody the wrong way. I tweeted out the other night this old video of his back when he was running for president where he's recording this stuff with his family, these ads that are then going to be used. Like, he records it and then releases it, and it's silent. And then his super PAC can pick it up and run those ads because you can't coordinate. But if you just release it with no audio, then they can pick it up because there was no coordination. You released it already. So, anyway, that's a long story. Bottom line is, CNN showed the outtakes, and he's, like, sitting with his mom, and he's got his arm around his mom. And Ted looks in the camera with his fake-ass look, smarmy-ass face. And you know, my mother, she prays for me all the time. For hours a day. And his mom is like, <laughs> What? What did you just say? Hours a day? What are you saying? And that sums up Ted Cruz. He's awkward. He's calculating. He's conniving. He's smarmy. He's not genuine. He's a clown. And on top of all of that, his policies fuck over working people. So even though Beto has his issues, I do think he's a little too technocratic and wonky. But even with that, I think he's in a unique position to take down Ted Cruz. And the more Ted runs ads like this, I can't believe he cursed. Well, then that makes you the snowflake. See, you lost your whole narrative just in this one ad. You're the snowflake now. You're the politically correct one. You need a safe space. If he keeps running ads like this, Beto can win. So, go ahead, Ted. <laughs> he's, you know what he's doing now, right? He's relying on Trump to save his ass. Oh, uh oh. -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> he was begging Trump to go to a rally and Trump was like, okay, fine, I'll do it in like October. Look out, man. Look out. Wouldn't it be great to watch Ted Cruz get picked off? <laughs> that would make me happier than anything.